Thailand's oldest political party has a new leader. Durin Laksanavisit, who served as acting leader of the Democrat Party, is now formally in charge of it after winning today's internal election. He takes over from former Thai Prime Minister Abhisit Bechachiwa. He resigned in the wake of the party's poor showing in the Thai elections. The Democrats came fourth in terms of the popular vote and picked up only 52 seats in the 500-seat lower house. And from Bangkok, successor Sambad explains the implications for the party. The new leader of the Democrat Party is a very familiar face to its members. 63-year-old Jordan Laksanavisit is currently the acting leader of the Democrat Party, but he has also been its deputy since 2003. He has been an MP 11 times in the past and has also held several cabinet positions. So he definitely brings a lot of pedigree uh, compared to his rivals. Even though they are more illustrious, he still beat them by a wide margin, and that includes former finance minister Kontatika Wenit and former Bangkok governor uh, Apirak Kosa Yotin. So what those results also shows is that Jurin is the most agreeable candidate for the party as he is seeking the biggest consensus before moving the party forward. Now, the Democrat Party are Thailand's longest surviving political party in this country, but they have also done a lot of soul searching in the past couple of weeks ever since the dismal um, election results, a very poor performance for them. They have been wiped off the map here in Bangkok, one of its strongholds, and they have lost most of its um, votes to two newly established political parties. One of them is the Liberal Progressive Future Forward Party. The other is the Palang Pasarat, which is the political vehicle of the current military government. And it's that Palang Pasarat party that is giving the Democrat Party its biggest dilemma, a big headache. So the military needs parties like the Democrats to build its bloc against the military side, against the anti-military side, which includes the Pur Thai Party, which is the biggest rival of the Democrat Party. But joining the military would also mean the extension of the status quo of the military government with current Prime Minister General Prayut chan maintaining at the helm. So there is a wide range of opinion um, amongst uh, the Democrat MPs and amongst Democrat Party members. I think my viewpoint um, has been pretty clear from the beginning in terms of positioning ourselves as a potential constructive opposition against a minority government. The opposing view, therefore, is always um, are you kind of blocking and not allowing the country to move forward. I think actually, in fact, um, if you look at the numbers in the 52 MPs that the, the, the Democrat Party has, um, even if we wanted to block any government, it's not going to be possible. Now what he's referring to are the 250 senators that have been all appointed by the current military government and they can help confirm current Prime Minister General Prayut chan as the next Prime Minister as well in the Joint Assembly with the 500 MPs of the lower house. But we will not hear the stance uh, of the Democrat Party whether or not who they are going to join just yet. That is not going to happen until there is another meeting with the equally newly elected executive board. But whatever happens going forward, it will be under a new leadership of the new Democrat Party leader, Jurin Laksanavisit, the first new leader since 14 years. Sakshit Sayas, CNA, Bangkok.